award-winning singer and songwriter Anthony Faulkner is making waves across the world. He is one of the few American artists to have seven number one singles on the East African charts. This singing sensation graced the TPI stage in 2015, where he discussed his rise in the industry. However, today I had a chance to talk with Anthony and find out more about the man behind the music. Tell me about your childhood. There was a lot of child abuse that was going on um, growing up. Started from age probably three up to 16, 17. And um, yeah. Anthony describes his home as a house of horrors, suffering physical, emotional, and verbal abuse at the hands of his stepfather. Although his mother was present, she too suffered in silence. There were situations where we would be forced to eat food out of the refrigerator that had been in there for a week or two that was close to spoiling, you know, until I got sick from eating it. Um, there were also occasions where um, a lot of verbal abuse. And granted, we went to church every, every Sunday, you know, every Sunday, and nobody really knew. Did you have an understanding of God, or was your, what was your view of God at that time? I didn't understand how I could be in such a horrific home setting, but then come to church and then everything was supposed to be miraculously amazing and beautiful and everything's perfect, because um, that was the face we painted at church. But I would dread having to come home, and it was almost escaping from a fantasy or reality, you know? So church was out for me at that point in time, but I didn't really understand this amazing, spectacular God. But yet I come home and then I'm like tortured, literally on a daily basis. So where was God for you in all of this? He, he was there because I knew he existed, you know? And I'm like, okay, I have to find out who God is for myself. Like I, I was forced to embrace this God that, you know, the church said was God. But it wasn't until I got my own apartment, my own place, and I moved out and I kind of took a break from church. And I was like, I really want to see what God is going to do for me. Outside of all the stuff that people are telling me God is supposed to do for me, I need to realize for myself. So I took a break, but I was still praying every day. And God let me know that I'm, I'm not just in the four walls of the church. I'm in your daily life. You know, if you seek me and you, and you, you do good, you know, and I've always had a heart to get back and to help others. I've, that's always been who I am. So taking my break and then realizing, okay, because I was doing R&B at the time too. And I was like, and, it, and God was still connecting me with all these different guardian angels to open doors and lead me in different directions uh, on the path that God had set out for me. Anthony always envisioned a better life for himself and says the abuse fueled his desire even more to be successful. Despite the doors that opened in all his hard work, he realized the life he desired would never happen if he didn't learn to forgive. How did the Lord heal you from what you, not physically, yes. but emotionally for, from your childhood? I had to let it all go. And no one's perfect but God. <laughs> Jesus was the only perfect person. But I try not to hold any resentment towards people, especially, you know, with my upbringing or situation. No one's perfect, but as long as they have a willing heart to change and want to do better and ask for forgiveness, then that, uh, that has allowed me to heal the process as well. And because I want to give back and do for others, I can't hold resentment in my heart and have a heavy heart and then expect to bring about positive change. It doesn't work that way. You know, so I've forgiven my mom, I've forgiven my stepfather and, you know, others who have, you know, exploited me and stolen from me and have done things to benefit themselves. I've let all that stuff go because in the end, I just want to do kingdom work and inspire the youth of tomorrow and also the people of tomorrow because we all have an expiration date on this earth. And while I have breath in my life, I definitely want to put forth my best foot and let people see God in me. Great. I've come to encourage you, my brother, my sister, that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. And if a problem may arise, God will fix it. Anthony's CD project, Guardian Angel, is touching the lives of listeners around the world and is blazing the charts, making Billboard's top 30. He's also personally transforming lives through his nonprofit organization, the Faulkner Foundation, which supports orphanages throughout the continent of Africa. What would you say to people, to a child in particular, who's going through a tough time right now? I would say that you have to come to a place of your authenticity. 
God has given us all something special that we have. Um, and we have to take the time to develop that. So I always like to say you have to become immune to rejection because everybody's not going to like what you do. Um, so within that being said, you have to look around and see what is a good path for success. You know, we have popular culture and sometimes that's a little too extreme. But if you could find a medium that could allow you to pave the way forward and, and yet still, there's still life that happens, bills and responsibilities and, you know, those things never go away. So it's like, how do you do two things at once? The creative side and then the reality side, which is how to survive. You have to find a way to make it work. And within that, not becoming overwhelmed. And sometimes you may have to take a day or two off and then come back to it. But as long as you stay focused and learn the craft and develop it, and you have to be competitive still with what's going on out in the world as you still try to remain your full authenticity. So it's kind of finding the balancing act in it all. But you, you have to endure, you, you, and you can't get caught up on what people say, what people think, because if it was that easy, everybody would be doing it. But you have to stand the test of trials, and you have to believe you know, in our Creator that gives us the strength and the drive, and will send guardian angels you know, their way, as He's done for myself. And in the end, like for myself, you'll think up and look and say, oh, I'm not where I used to be. But it's like, as long as you have that forward mentality, you can definitely pay the head.